And we got a new boss! Oh shit! I have not actually... I can't... I don't know what this boss does. I fucking... I don't know. We're just... Oh my god. Things are happening though. Hey guys, what's going on? For those of you who don't know, my name is Skylant. I like to review free-to-play games and MMO games, but I want to start venturing into some indie games and some offline games and do it on my personal channel. This is my personal channel. Hey, check that out. Anyways, this is Dungeon Souls. This is a game I actually did a little bit of a, a playing around with on my channel. I did a couple of Let's Plays-ish. It's still in development, as you can see in the bottom there. It says Beta V 2.9. Now, this video, what it's going to be, is going to be like a live look, like a, like a live impression slash review type of uh, video. But the game is not fully released yet, but I am going to criticize the game, and we are just going to play and have fun, and it's still going to be a casual experience, but... I don't know, hopefully you can take something away and see if you want to purchase the game yourself. Uh, and also, for those who do play the game, also just know that there are some updates that you might want to jump back into. So, here we go, Dungeon Souls. This is going to be a, I guess, Binding of Isaac-like game. It is a rogue light title. Uh, so it kind of has like a thematic of Dark Souls. It's called Dungeon Souls, so maybe you would expect that. But don't think that it, it's going to be like Eater or maybe some other isometric or a pixel sort of Dark Souls inspired game. It's really more like Binding of Isaac than anything else, okay? Just kind of, you know, thematically... It's kind of like Dark Souls, sort of, you know. Anyways, okay, so we got a couple of things to go over here. I'm going to be playing with keyboard and mouse, so you might hear a lot of clickety-clacking because this game gets intense. And I will say the game is incredibly difficult. It is one of the hardest games I have ever played in my life. And uh, I, I, I know sometimes, you know, because of these kind of games, procedurally generated dungeons, random uh, artifacts that you can pick up, you know, random tools and stuff. Uh, there is ways that sometimes a certain round might be easier, uh, sometimes it'll be just, you know, the, the odds are stacked up against you, I understand that, but generally this game is very difficult. I think some people find Binding of Isaac with its RNG uh, generally can be, you know, kind of difficult to uh, sometimes really easy if you know the game. Dungeon Souls as a whole I think might be just a little bit more difficult. Uh, better or worse, I don't know, but in my personal opinion I just simply enjoy it more because of its class system. So we're gonna go jump into the game here. Uh, this is gonna be sort of like a total biscuitish kind of you know review it's gonna be really long like 30 minutes long 40 minutes long who fucking knows man but we're gonna go into this uh before we jump right into it though let's go to the options i want to show you that you don't really have too many options it's made in game maker so not too much to really change as you can see oh, i don't know if you actually can see but i actually have to play this in a window because if you play full screen then like nvidia shadow play doesn't record it properly so Anyways, a lot of awkwardness with Game Maker, and depending on, I think, maybe depending on what your rig is set up to be, if you can't run this game, I, I mean, like, if you're playing on a laptop, um, like a really bad, shitty laptop, then the game might actually completely malfunction and stuff like that. It's just, Game Maker is Game Maker. Uh, so, here's the controls, boom, done, we're playing with keyboard and mouse. Um, I, minute navigating the menus is really awkward. I don't think you can use the mouse, pro yeah, you can't really use the mouse, the mouse isn't even showing up on the screen. You can't use the mouse to navigate the, the menus, which is... Weird. Uh, the resolution is 1920 by 1080. Here we go. We're going to be playing at... Uh, see, I have full screen off because it won't record otherwise. Here's my stats and stuff, which is pretty cool. Okay, neat. Highest level reached. It says sewer... I don't know why it says sewers one. I guess that's ever since the stats been implemented because actually I've beaten the game multiple times on different difficulties. Gameplay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's disable the shit out of screen shake. And I actually implore that you guys do that as well. The game is just so frantic and hectic and there's only so many pixels in this game. So when everything is shaking and and getting stirred up, it's really freaking hard to aim and dodge thing, and just just see, it's it's really disorienting, so disable that, it's kind of intense, I wish there was a slider of some kind, but whatever. White and red flashes, I don't even know what that is, like maybe from getting hit? I, I don't know, maybe I should disable that too. Anyway, skill autocast, I am going to enable that. Um, item auto pickup, we're gonna do that too, glow, health bar, blah blah blah, map frame, disable that. Vertical sync disabled, smooth camera enabled, okay, so, got a couple of uh, options there for the game, but most of it you just want to turn off? Yeah, okay, so, let's go back! Let's start the game, you get to see a little intro. Lamini Studios, what's up, Lamini? Thank you so much for this cool game. Totally not connected, I understand that, I like playing with keyboard and mouse, though. Uh, the game probably plays very well with, uh, blah blah blah, controller. I have a Steam controller, though, so I don't know how I feel about using that with this game. And, Arcane Forge is the new update that we have with the game. Uh, and uh, this allows you to pick up ingredients as you can see there I have some ingredients and then you can get a recipe and you get new cosmetic items I don't know if the items actually do add on effects or not uh, But anyways, so if we hit start now, we're getting really into the game here Okay, we have the barbarian we have the archer We have the thief the warrior the wizard the cleric the necromancer the knight blade and here's the new class We have the brawler. We also have another new class, which I believe is the engineer. I don't have him unlocked I have to uh, apparently have to obtain a rocket which will spawn somewhere in the world and have to find it So yeah, there's gonna be an engineer, which is pretty sweet 
Uh, all these classes play a little bit differently, okay? And it is pretty fun, okay? The difference, like, between these classes is definitely noteworthy. It's not small at all. So we have the Archer, obviously uses long range. Uh, it's kind of like AoE long range abilities. And then we have the Thief, which is... I. I, one of the hardest classes. I don't know if they've changed it or not. I'm sure there's gonna be balance tweaks because some of these classes were unplayable. I know the Nightblade, no, Nightblade was, whenever he first released, was like the hardest class to use because he has a lot of RNG with him. Uh, however, they changed him and as you can see, I have a gold medal with him. So yeah, he's actually uh, totally usable. He's a really weird class. Some of these classes are just straight up crazy. Like the, the Cleric, the Cleric is fucking ridiculous. Okay, he spawns a gate and whenever you attack, like you, you shoot a missile through the gate, it actually splits up kind of like uh, I don't know like shotgunish really freaking weird and the wizard is I don't know man oh wait he's got actually got a new ability duplicate I don't remember duplicate oh wow nice spawns a decoy and stuns all enemies within a range uh, after teleporting oh okay that's how that works so you teleport and it creates a decoy and uh, then it explodes now have hellfire big explosion attack and fireball you actually acquire this guy I believe from you have to find this hat randomly you can also fight this character he's a boss actually Okay, so a couple of different classes. We are going to play as the one that I have the least amount of progress with. Are we going to play as the Brawler? Or are we going to play... Okay, the Brawler's new. So maybe we should probably play as that for those who have already played the game. Now, I don't expect... Honestly, do not expect us to actually beat the game. You know, tragically. We also have a new difficulty. If you guys haven't played in a while, I don't know what this difficulty is called. Um, but uh, anyways, we have like easy, normal, hard, and then we have epic hard. Honestly, normal is really freaking hard in its own right. In fact, you're, with some of these classes, you are going to die instantaneously until you really learn their mechanics. I think, I mean, the easiest class in the whole game is going to be Barbarian. I think I, with my skill set, could probably play through the highest difficulties. I mean, I would still die a couple of times. I'd still have to try a little bit, but he's the easiest class overall. Um, and then you've got some pretty hard classes like Cleric, Wizard... Necromancer Nightblade. Now the only thing that's holding this game back is honestly I really wish it had co-op. I think that'd be fucking awesome, but it doesn't. So anyways, I guess we'll play as Brawler. Yeah, okay, so we have some stats here, blah blah blah. We have some skills, and then as you can see here with the difficulties. Okay, I can't even use this difficulty because it uh because of the new update. So yeah, anyways, enemies have 100% HP, do 100% damage, all that good stuff. Let's revive. So apparently our characters are like dead and we're like in a limbo or something and then we kind of revive into the dungeons or... I don't know. Anyways, very Binding of Isaacus. You uh, have these procedurally generated dungeons. It is, as you can see, kind of controlled similarly to Binding of Isaac. It's very pixel arty though. And... If you play full screen, it also, I believe, stretches the screen, but for the most part, I believe the aspect ratio is going to be standard definition, like it's going to be a 4-3. It's going to be... Yeah. Anyways, okay, so let's move out here. We got to level up our some abilities and by leveling up We have to actually pick them first. So this is gonna level up our auto attack damage. This is gonna spin the mace around us uh, Which is gonna oh it gives us defense. So maybe we should do this So the brawler is gonna be kind of similar to the barbarian just slightly different Okay, we press tab whenever we level up. We can also level up stats. We have damage defense magic re I believe resistance movement speed and accuracy. We don't need any accuracy because we're melee uh, as you can see, the accuracy, I believe, affects, unless they changed it, it should affect, like, how close the attack actually follows the cursor. So you don't start out with 100% accuracy. And you're gonna need, um, a pretty high accuracy. Oh, yeah, look, this is a trap. Gotta watch out for the trap. Yeah, those, those boulders will fuck you up. Alright, guys, let's get into it. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, because we waited a little bit, you can see there's a lot of monsters that spawned here. Monsters do spawn randomly through the dungeon. As we kill them, we get experience. We get drop random drops. We got potions. Potions are- oh my god. This is gonna suck. Okay, I'm gonna have to probably Q. Use Q here so I can just get in here. We might- we literally might even die. Escape from the Redeemer. Did the Redeemer spawn already? Oh my god. See, if you wait too long, the Redeemer comes. The Redeemer will kill you. Anyways, if you just wait too long, period, too many monsters are gonna spawn in these very enclosed corridors. Depending on your class, it's- you're dead. As you can see, I didn't have anything to allow me to survive going through that hallway, basically. And we died instantaneously on normal, when I've already beaten the game over and over again. So it just, it just happens. We can quick restart though, press R, good to go. The game expects you to die over and over and over again. There's a trap, watch out for the trap. Sometimes you get rewards from that though. Level up this up, use Q, kill the booze. And there we go. Now we have to actually active, okay, we got a chest and you have to have certain keys for those chests. 
Gold keys for gold chests, silver keys for silver chests. Now we have to activate these seals. Activate all the seals in the uh, level to go up a le to go to the next stage. Let's see. Sometimes these bookcases, not that bookcase. Oh, we got a potion. Yeah. Anyways, there's a shop on every level, by the way, too. So let's go farm up some gold. Activate this. Use my ability. This gives us defense, does some damage, and as you can see, it kind of knocks them back, kind of disorients the enemies. Now, if you haven't played in a while, you might notice that the art is a little bit different. It looks like it's a little bit more original than previously, almost a little bit more cartoon, a little bit more chibi, and I definitely respect that. Like, before, I remember this, uh, these guys looked definitely not as bubbly. The Minotaur, definitely not as bubbly. Everything is a little bit more cute. Jesus, though, this guy does damage. Like, come the fuck on. I can't even, I can't even handle you right now, man. Anyways, overall, I very much enjoy the game because of its, it's kind of simple in a way. And it's, it's, I don't know, man, it's just, it's, it's like Binding of Isaac, but the art style appealed to me, so I, you know, I really wanted to get into this game. Okay, we got a potion. Press number one to use the potion. You're gonna use, use your potions like crazy. Yeah, we got some metal scraps. Look at that. Actually, we need to kill these things. Like, fuck these, oh my god. Sometimes you're gonna see buffed enemies. As you can see here, he's kind of buffed. And you can tell we're having some issues playing the game. Like, the game is pretty fucking difficult. Now, you're gonna have to really play the game, really learn the game, to actually, kind of like, actually play the game. Like, it's just one of those games. It just takes quite a bit to get into. So yeah, I guess it kind of earns the soul's name. So we just got another ability called Brawling Time, which we actually become invincible. Maybe that should have been the first thing we got. Uh, dashes to the closest- fuck! I'm trying to read the things, guys! Dashes to the closest enemies, becoming invulnerable and slashing. Uh, five times dealing one per damage per slash. Okay, so let's try this. Redeemer. There we go. Having a little bit of awkwardness with the um, abilities. Oh, we just found that. Got that. I believe that heals us like three health per second. We need to move though. Time to get into the portal. Oh wait, no, we need to go to the shop first. Don't want to miss the shop. So the redeemer might come and drain some health. He just slowly drains health. Here we go. Let's get that. Uh, let's get this chest piece. And we are out. There's the redeemer. Pretty fucking scary, actually. He just drains your health until you finally leave the level. So we're gonna do that. Every three level. Oh, well, every on the third level, there's a boss, guys. Here we go. What did we just get? I don't know what we just got. Actually, we can press uh, C to see the inventory. We got a cat paw, which is like a crit chance. 50%. Let's activate this. Now, there is no you there. Oh, shit, dude. That was epic. There is no mana system, right? So don't worry about just like spamming your abilities because sometimes you want to spam your abilities. I mean, you got to worry about cooldowns, but you know, any chance you have, like whenever you're activating a seal, use your abilities. I know, I forget about that a lot too. I'm used to playing MMOs. Oh, I kind of have to aim my, uh, oh, snap. I kind of have to aim that, that uh, dash. So that was the awkwardness that I was having. Now the red potion gives us a buff. Is this, oh, that's empty shelf. We gotta find a, um, if you've, there, if there's a shelf, if you go to it, it can actually lead you to a secret area. So there are secret areas. Oh, the shop's right here, fantastic, go. Let's get the crit chance. All right, hold on, let's get this potion. Now, as you can see, I can actually break projectiles, which is pretty sweet. Here's the first boss. And they did add voice acting for some of the bosses as well. And like, kind of like little mini cutscenes like this. So one cool thing is that some characters are going to be better against uh, certain types of enemies and bosses than others. Like this guy, he doesn't um, auto attack that often unless I'm using my Q. So it's actually like I have to actively dodge these projectiles, but at the same time it's kind of hard uh, because, yeah, I'm melee. Also, I shouldn't be using my E unless there's multiple enemies. Volume's getting pretty loud here. Okay, let's use our Q. Use my E. There we go. Definitely using the, a hell a lot of potions. Having some issues with this guy. Absolutely. As you can see, we're not doing much damage here. Use our Q whenever we think he's going to do a s slew of attacks. And if you think you can just sit, sit back, if you think you can just do that, like, like Dark Souls, just sit back and see the attack patterns, that shit doesn't work out, man. Because you will get burst down. So, dude, literally, the last time I was played this game, I died instantaneously on the final boss. Literally, just instantaneously. There we go. Let's actually use that potion there. Oh, we get this potion. Nice, nice, nice. If you level up, you get full health, by the way, too. So keep track of your experience bar. That's what the purple is. Keep track of that. Boom, 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 baby. So that you don't waste your potions. Now, this guy also does like a little uh, bomb attack. Gotta watch out for that. Use potions. Just 
try to do damage. We're not doing much damage at all, though. Really, we're not. In fact, we might die. Which would be a goddamn tragedy. But then we could probably show off some different uh, classes. Because the gameplay between the different dungeons, uh, the layers of dungeons, is pretty similar. Oh, this guy also slows, which sucks for me. But you do have, like, an ice area. Yeah, let's kill these things. Fuck, we don't even have enough damage to kill those guys. So we're just gonna have to chillax, kill them, wait for potions, hopefully. There's a potion. Yeah, that slow is really ducking us, man. Oh, and we're dead. See, the game the game is difficult, man. It's not, like, I mean, yeah, I guess I kind of suck because of the new update. Things have changed, but the game is genuinely very hard, and I feel unbalanced. And it's kind of, like, that's kind of a good thing in a way. We'll go to the main menu. Because certain classes are harder and easier. I mean, that's why there's not multiplayer, really, I guess. I would like multiplayer once everything is balanced, but Barbarian is easy mode, right? If I played Barbarian, I promise you, I will beat the game pro- I like, whenever you beat the final boss, it kind of resets you too, so I can keep going and going and going and going. So, I could keep going with them, but if I played Thief or Archer, I might die, just like with the Barbarian, I might die, though they might have changed and updated it. I'm just saying, some classes are really, really hard, um, and I think that's fine. I think that's okay. And that's kind of like one thing that makes Dark Souls fun is if you want to, you can make the game harder than it needs to be. So let's let's do a genuine attempt. Um, we can play as the Necromancer. Let's let's see. I said the cleric is really weird. So let's try the let's try the cleric and show that guy off. But yeah, the different. I mean, overall, like the bosses and everything, they do have different attack patterns. They do do different things, I guess. But for the most part, it's still going to be very bullet hellish with the gameplay. Okay, so we have Holy Gate. This is pretty cool. So we're gonna attack, and then we, we throw our projectiles. Oh, we try to throw it into the gate. I totally fuckled up there. Oh yeah, these ghosts teleport, man. And they kind of go invisible, so... Yeah. Anyway, so this guy. He's a priest. He's a cleric. Whatever. Uh, you would think he would have, like, a lot of uh, supporty abilities, but being a single-player game, it's not quite like that. So he, he uses his auto-attack a lot. And as you can see, my auto-attacks are kind of all over the place. But I don't think accuracy is very important with him, even though he's a projectile-type character. Because he's really more about spamming um, different abilities. Also, I don't think I leveled up before I, re I reached the boss. I forgot about that. I needed to level up damage. Ha! <laughs> totally forgot. Anyways, so we're gonna activate the gate here. I don't know, it's hitting me. And we're dead. <laughs> we're fuck Like, holy- like, the guy- games. The game is hard. Okay, so let's go with regeneration. Let's- I'm tired of dying. We're gonna use regeneration. So now we have passive regeneration. Easy does it. This projectile uh, bounces off walls. The Necromancer actually has a slightly homing uh, projectile. Like, everyone has different projectiles, you know? They have different passives and different abilities. It looks like, is there gonna be room for an ultimate? Because right here, this isn't, uh, this isn't, like, taken up by anything. So I don't know if he's planning on adding in ultimates or not. I might have to go check out the game uh, again whenever that gets added, because that'd be hella fucking cool, man. Anyways, also, you can't level up by pressing Control and then Q or E, which is one thing that you can do in MOBAs. So it's kind of disappointing here. As you can see, look how much damage we're doing compared to the uh, Brawler class, which is a Brawler. You'd expect them to do a little bit more damage, but yeah, even without leveling up anything, we are doing decent, decent damage. Give me that ectoplasm, bruh. All right, so yeah, classes are disbalanced. Uh, however, I am super squishy. Oh, thank god we leveled up. Still gonna probably die, though. Did something just spawn there? Oh, boy. Game is hard. Game is fucking hard. Okay, hold on, hold on. Chillax, guys. Oh, if that boulder hits us as a squishy class, we're dead. Like, we're just- we're just dead. Now, I really wish that- Oh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel, but- Sometimes, at certain classes, you just feel really weak without getting certain abilities. Like, I really wanted regeneration to kind of sustain, but at the same time... I don't know, man. I really need that gate to clear these, uh, these waves of enemies that are spawning here. Uh-oh, leveled up. Okay, finally, finally. We can click this. Now we got the gate. Use the gate. Jesus. Get out of here. Anyway, see, the gate turns your projectile into multiple projectiles. And you can do some work there, especially in enclosed areas, which it's called Dungeon Souls. You're gonna be in an enclosed area. So there we go. Doing some damage, cleaning it up. Pretty lowish cooldown. We gotta escape from the Redeemer now. But I wanna get these, uh, I wanna kill these mobs, get the gold, get the loots, get the ectoplasm, and let's get, uh, what is this? Uh, killing five enemies heals? Alright, that's gonna be, that's gonna be our thing. Oh, get the brown chest. You don't need any keys for the brown chest. And we got a compass. That's neat. Okay. So, having regeneration, having healing is pretty important, you know, survival. 
Uh, but then you're still gonna need damage. Like, if you don't have damage, if you can't burst some of these creatures, like the seals, they're just gonna swamp you. They're just gonna kill you. Uh, why is that, uh, is that a poison chest? What the fuck's going on with this? I don't know what that was about. Anyways, kill these guys. There we go. And we are gonna press tab. We are gonna level up, uh, probably defense just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's go defense with one. And magic damage is our main damage because we are magic class. Empty shelf. Always check that so you get to the uh, secret area. There's a couple secret areas. I only know of two, though. I don't know if there's more. There's a fey garden, uh, which you get from a tree. And there's a wizard. There's a wizard library thing. Kill these guys. Oh, yeah. They do walk through the wall, so watch out for that. I, may, I might want a little bit of accuracy, because it's getting kind of awkward with how inaccurate this is. Maybe, maybe not. Kill this guy. Look out for the traps, but fuck it. All right, what is that? I don't know what some of, what some of those items are, though, actually. Let's go find out what this is. What does this do? Magic resistance and movement speed, uh, bonus damage, and then we have critical chance. Let's go with critical chance. Which I think we might be able to crit a lot, actually, because we do have so many projectiles. So it might be really good. See, it's it's really itch Oh, God. There we go. Use the gate. Use the gate. Gate it up. We actually need to leave, like, immediately, so. Let's get out of here. And now back on the boss. We're having a little bit of easier time, but uh, we'll see how this one works out here. I don't think we have- okay, no, we, we can actually break projectiles with our ranged projectiles, that's good. So let's go attack this guy- oh my god, see the damage that we're doing already? It's amazing! Gotta look out for those. Now I will say that sometimes the game is just unfair. The game will just straight up shoot a projectile that is way faster than you could possibly predict. Uh, or should be, you know, normally humanly possible. Sometimes. Hopefully that gets balanced out and changed, but uh... As you can see, we're having a little bit easier time. The priest is an older class, it's a little bit more balanced. Look out for these guys. We also have uh, passive regeneration, makes it a little bit easier. Dodge these. Also, the speed boost is freaking amazing. Do the big damages. Look out for those bomb attacks. Just try to really just do damage to him. It's taking a little bit, though. He's still a boss. Still a boss. Okay, yeah, we're getting them criticals. Getting them criticals. Look out for that. Look out for that. Taking some damage. Taking some damage. It's all right. And the, as you can see from the RNG, he's not spa he's not spawning a lot of enemies. Which normally would be, you know, pretty detrimental to us. Uh, so sometimes you just have some good RNG. Lots of crits and... Actually, we got everything we want. A little bit of defense. A lot of survivability. Heck yeah. Got some potions. We'll use uh, these potions. I don't know. Fuck it. And now we're on to the sewers. More stuff. And can we get a gold key? I actually do want a gold key. Get the gold key so we can open a gold chest to get the sweet loots! Gold chests normally drop, I think, like three items. Oh man, these little blobs, dude. These blobs will kill you. And a silver key, awesome. Yeah, those blobs will fuck you up because they, they uh, drop smaller cubes once you kill them. Like, they turn into smaller cubes. A little bit of awkwardness with this. There we go. Lots of loot. Lots of freaking loot. Now, I don't have to kill these, but I do want to farm these, though, right? So I get as much uh, itemizations, get, get as much items so I can buy stuffs. By stoofs, I could probably level up some damage. Probably do want to level up damage. Especially since we're getting all these crit items by RNG chance. So there's tactics, there's strategy. Pretty awesome. So we're leveling up, we're leveling up. Let's level up our gate. Should we do, uh, gate? Uh, plus... Okay, so we get more projectiles per level, so let's do that. I'm cool with that. Let's do that. And once, once we start getting some more defense, though, then we'll go with the regeneration. See, the accuracy is... Kind of hindering us just a little bit. I might upgrade it by one. Just just a little bit, maybe. Uh, wait, actually, I don't think. Yeah, we do have accuracy. So by one, there we go. And let's go with the magic. Res let's go with the magic damage there. All right. Okay. No, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going, guys. There's the gate. Walk through the gate. And we are still a little bit awkward there with the. There we go. See, much. We're having a much easier time here. Those sewers. I do die a lot in sewers. Okay, get that. Activate that. Do the deeps, do the deeps, all the criticals, oh baby! And we've got, uh, over here, let's go, don't fuck the rat, dude! Get out of here, ratty! And, uh oh, okay. Yeah, see, getting in an enclosed area like this is, it can kill you, it can definitely kill you if you're, uh, not a class, oh my god, especially, fuck that, dude. 
especially, dude, because of boulders. If you're not looking out for traps and you're just trying to run around in an enclosed area, uh, you know, like just like that, the boulder can kill you, especially if you are a squishy class. There's a redeemer. He was draining my health. Get that. Get the loots. Okay, we gotta we gotta find a gold chest. Oh wait, crit chance. Uh, Molotov chance to create fire. Oh my god, absolutely. All the AOE damage, dude. We are turning into a paladin. It's gonna go crazy. We activated it. Let's go. We leveled up. Get some more damage. Get all the damages. Or maybe defense? Uh, we pretty low on defense. We'll do one more in defense. But after this, I think we're just gonna rely on um, picking up items. Actually, I don't know what that fire effect was right there. Oh yeah, that must have been my fire effect. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you can see, now that we got some items, now that we actually got into the game, it's going to get a little bit uh, more manageable. That's kind of how these games work. It depends on a little bit on RNG. Okay, I will admit it, but that maybe less so than um, Binding of Isaac. Binding of Isaac is, like, entirely RNG, and then, you know, how you... Fucking boulders, and how you maintain the, the RNG. Because this game definitely has elements of that, which makes it, you know, fun for people who enjoy stuff like that. Gold chest! But there is a little bit more control with how you level up. And so, oh my god! Jesus, the speed! Okay, let's get out of here, guys. And now we have another slime. You gotta watch out for this guy. If you kill him, he actually drops a bunch of slime balls, and they will totally kill you, even though you just killed the boss. Woo! Let's do it! Okay, he, he shoots lots of fucking projectiles. And if you're not careful, you're just dead. You're just fucking dead. The game is, is a huge bullet hell, but the problem is, is that there's not much space to move around. Not much space at all. Gotta be very careful. The speed of the game is intense. But as you can see, once you get some items, once you know how to play your class, you can do some you can do some crazy shit. Um, also, if you can play a class that does a lot of burst damage and you can burst down bosses or just burst enemies, period, they, that's how the game works. That's how the game is played. So if you play a class that normally does uh, like DPS, like consistent damage, it's a little bit harder, I found, to actually play the game. Okay, now we're in the frost area. After this, we have the cathedral, and then that is the technical end of the game. I, well, at least it used to be. I don't know if it changed. Oh yeah, I think you can actually destroy um, the tree, the fey tree. I don't, I don't know if that's possible or not. All I know is that you can destroy trees, so watch out if you want to get to the fey area. We acquired an item. Okay, let's continue onward. We need to actually go up here. Follow the map. Oh my god, those yetis will fuck you. Jesus. Okay. Okay, friend. Okay, friendo. Some guys are still pretty difficult, and we have a bonus damage. Oh, shit, dude. I didn't even see that. Gotta watch out. Okay. A cooldown reduction, maybe. Um, spawns orbiting spike ball that deals two damage. Uh, and then we have bleed chance. I don't know about this bonus damage. I'm gonna go with the spike ball. It gives us a little bit of defense, because if it hits something, I think it kind of knocks them, knocks them away a little bit. Oh man, these, these areas suck, especially if they have uh, long range attacks. They can hit you with those long range attacks. Alright, we, we just gotta run in and then run the fuck out, basically. Kill them. Uh, we're, we're not even gonna get the gold there. We're, we're just not even. Oh god, we activated two traps. We're going way too fast. Alright, let's activate this. Move over here, kill these guys. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know if I want to do that. It is, I mean, you could just, see, I, as you saw, I didn't have to kill everything in the seal. I just have to activate the seal. So you can just run through. However, give me that shield. However, wait, is this the secret? Ah, uh, fuck it. They don't even know. The problem is then you're not going to level up as often. You're not going to get as much gold. You're not going to be able to buy as, as expensive items. Stuff like that. So this, holy shit, dude, this game is moving like really fucking fast. Good thing I turned off the screen shake. And this is, okay, so you can't destroy it. So if we go here, we go to the Fey area. This is one of the secret areas. We're not going to do that. We're just going to go through the base game. But I just wanted to show that there is secret areas, and I can't go to it. If I just press space, I'll go to it. Fuck you, snowman! So these guys shoot uh, little balls of fucking, I don't know, man. Little balls of pain. It really does hurt. It really sucks, too. Then uh, the next area, we got lots of, uh, there's, there's a little crystal guy. There, I, we haven't spawned him yet, though. There are crystals that shoot lasers, and there's gonna be lots of fucking lasers in the next area. It's gonna be ridiculous, guys. It's gonna be absolutely ridiculous. Getting lots of items, and we need... How many more? We got three of five. So there's two areas up here which we need to get. Oh my god, dude. Fuck, get me out of here. As you can see, though, um, whenever an area spawns, the seals are already predetermined for what creature will spawn. So this should be... Um, 
a mix of the snowmen and the eyeball things. So yeah, every time it's gonna be that, I do believe. I wish it wasn't like that, maybe? Potentially? I don't know. Um, anyways. You can't open that. At least... I don't know, some, some creatures are just really strong against other uh, classes. So you gotta watch out for that. You gotta watch out for that, guys. Jeez, man. I just wanna kill you guys. You know what? Fuck it. I just can't handle it. Those guys are just really strong, and they just got me down. So we're out of here. And we got a new boss! Oh shit! I have not actually... I can't... I don't know what this boss does. I fucking... I don't know. We're just... Oh my god. Things are happening, though. Things are happening! We're doing it. Summon the... Summon the... Oh, fuckles. Oh, fuckles. We might... This might be the end, guys! I don't know about this one. Looks like she does slower attacks, but they're probably fucking stronger. Oh god, get out of the corners. Oh, she also does little Gatling gun attacks. Jesus. Fuck! So this is very much a bullet hell type of game. It's like Binding of Isaac, and you would think it'd be more melee oriented, but hell no, nah, man. It's it's a bullet hell. It's literally hell. So, anyways, we didn't get to go through the full game, and on your first attempt, uh, even your first session, I you maybe not should expect to get all the way through. A couple of other games that are similar to this would be like Nuclear Throne is one that recently came out. I actually did a couple of uh, videos on that. Binding of Isaac is the biggest one, and Dungeon Souls. And if there was like a holy trinity of this genre, I think those would be the three games that kind of make it up. Though there's also Enter the Gungeon that just came out and I heard it got uh, really good reviews, so I might actually jump into that too. So yeah, uh, Dungeon Souls is a pretty cool game. Uh, let's go to the Arcane Forge. Did we actually pick up any recipes? No, we didn't, so <laughs> we did not pick up a recipe. But it is pretty cool that we do get uh, some sort of progression outside of the matches like that. So if I hit, hit start, you can see I have all these classes. You have to actually unlock these classes. I just only have one that's not unlocked. You have to actually unlock um, the wizard and the cleric, and you unlock all these by different ways. Necromancer, stuff like that. They're all pretty fun. They're all very interesting, I think. Another unique mechanics. I, th I think the thief is probably the, the most fun for me, though. I really suck with him. Um, but I cannot believe that there's actually a, a harder difficulty than, than this difficulty. Like, Jesus, man. Like, absolutely insane. You guys gotta be amazing. And if there, if you play this game and you actually beat the game on, like, the hardest difficulty, dude, please show me that video. I will watch the shit out of that. Oh, uh, this game is intense. But, um, thanks for watching, guys. My name is Skyline. I just wanted to show off Dungeon Souls. I'll give it a little critique, whatnot. Overall, it's a pretty good game. Obviously unfinished, and you can definitely feel its unfinishedness. But it is, honestly, I don't know. I'm pretty glad that even back when I first bought it at a full $15, uh, when it had basically almost none of these classes, it was still worth the, the, the while because it was my first Binding of Isaac-like, you know, rogue light game. It's pretty fun. If you have played other games in the genre, maybe you stick with those because they have more content right now, but Dungeon Souls is definitely one to look forward to. And honestly, it's pretty good. If you can get it on sale, uh, then absolutely it is worth it. Thanks for watching, guys. My name's Skylint, and I'll see you again next time.